arrived at Yahoo, Matthew 22. And Yahushua answered and spoke unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready, come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together as all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how came you in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Then went the parishing, and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And they sent out unto him their Talmudim with the Herodians, saying, Rabbi, we know that you are true, and teach the way of Elohim in truth. Neither care you for any man, for you regard not the person of men. Tell us therefore, what do you think? Does the Torah instruct us to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Yahushua perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? They say unto him, Caesar's. Then says he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto Elohim the things that are Elohim's. When they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day came to him the Tisidal king, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Rabbi, Moshe said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his woman, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a woman, deceased, and having no issue, left his woman unto his brother. Likewise the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all the woman died also. Therefore in the resurrection whose woman shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Yahushua answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of Elohim. For in the resurrection they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of El in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by Elohim, saying, I am the Elohim of Abraham, and the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. Elohim is not the Elohim of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Parashim had heard that he had put the Tesidal king to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Rabbi, which is the greatest commandment in the Torah? Yahushua said unto him, You shall love Yahuwah Eloheka with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the Torah and the prophets.
while the Parashim were gathered together, Yahusha asked them, saying, What think ye of Mashiach, whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He says unto them, How then does David in the Ruach call him Adonai, saying, Yahuwah said unto my Adonai, Sit on my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. If David then calls him Adonai, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither dared any man from that day forth ask him any more questions.